Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're going to be custom painting pumpkins. We did this last year and they turned out amazing. And it's actually surprising because they lasted really long and I think that was because when you carve them, you take the insides out. Painting pumpkins is a really good alternative to carving them. And we have a mix of loads of different ones. So we have plastic ones and we have real ones and some of them have sequins on as you can see. Mm -hmm. And we already have pre-painted pumpkins which are painted black and white. And obviously we just have the normal ones. So today we're going to be taking it in turns to pick different pumpkins and painting themes which our mum has already chosen in advance and we have not seen them yet. On that note, let's get started. Now we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to pick their pumpkin first. So I have got my eye on a few pumpkins. A few? A few. Nope. Do you like one in particular? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Well, okay. I want this one. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Ooh, nice shape. I've chosen this one because I have a good idea and I think it'll look good with a white background. And it's like very symmetrical. You don't know what themes we've got yet and neither do I. So we might be contradicted with what we want to do. Three, two, one. Okay, these are the this themes. This is familiar. Character or face. Abstract slash random. Animal print. Striped or dot. Geometric, graphic slash icons. Patchwork or autumnal. autumnal slash natural. These are the eight themes all laid out in front of us. It pretty much covers all of the possibilities yeah. for designing a pumpkin, I think. Right, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you again. Right, I don't actually know which one I want to do. I don't want to do animal print. Like, they don't have any animals on it. Maybe not the print. Patchwork design. I'm gonna go with no. Okay. I don't particularly want to do stripes or dots. Not geometrical pattern. Four. I'm gonna cross out or terminal. I like the idea of it being Halloween themed. No. I don't want abstract or random. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really want one of them. Don't you, I hate when you put me under pressure because then I pick the wrong one. I don't believe you. I don't believe that you actually want one of them. I think you don't and you're trying to like throw me off. I don't think mine fits under character and face. So I'm going with graphics and icons. Well, luckily mine went under two things. Okay, good. It will still work, I think. I hope. Because it includes a face. I'm going to pick character slash face. Yay! First of all, Ruby's got the hiccups. Second of all, we now have all of our materials ready to paint our pumpkins. I apologise, ignore it, please. Uh, whenever I have hiccups, I don't know why. Hey! Thank you. I don't know why I have to got wait. No. Oh. I, I always, I barely ever have the hiccups, but when I do, I have about five in the same day, and then it goes. I've had it today once already. Anyway, I don't have the hiccups. Here we go. See what I'm doing. Why? Is it eyes? It's <laughs> a good idea. Ooh, wonder what that is. I'm gonna put a vote on the fact it's a silhouette of something. Me? Ow. Oh well, that gave nothing away. Oh, I, mm. I'm really confused. I wallow in your confusion. What did you pick? Icon. I did, yeah. She's an icon. It'll make more sense later. I'm waiting for it to dry, but mine's nearly done. I'm definitely gonna have to get a move on now. <laughs> I think I've done like the main parts of mine now. I think I just need to do finishing touches. Turned it around so you can't see. Ah, My whole thing really is finishing touches. It's quite an easy design. I don't understand how you're close to being done and it's just white circles. Well, well, it's just like pretty, isn't it? But you didn't pick dots, you picked icon. Is it um that snow person from Frozen? It is not Olaf. <laughs> Oh, 
I know what yours is. What? A ghost. Are they ghosts? They are. Oh my gosh, wait, I should have thought of that. It just didn't come to mind, to be honest. I can't see yours. <laughs> finished and we've done all the final details and towards the end we put this box in the middle of us yeah. so we couldn't see each other's i do know what Rayleigh's doing but i haven't seen it like towards the end you didn't see the finishing touches and they brought the design together but with mine i actually turned mine while we were doing it so you couldn't yeah. see it do you want to go first do you not no okay right i'm going first three two one oh well that's really cute thank you Oh my gosh, the little baby ones. <laughs> I was really confused at first because I thought they were little beans. Yeah, it's really good. It's like, it's really simple, but it looks really good. I really like mine. It's really cool. <laughs> it's going to look really nice on Halloween. This design was really easy to do. The black took the longest out of the two aspects of it. I actually really like mine. It's, it's really cool, isn't it? It looks cool. I'm going to spin it, although it is pretty consistent throughout. It's a really cool room decor idea, actually. I think I'm going to put this in my bedroom. I definitely think this looks good on Halloween. It's going to give a really nice effect to it. Thank you. On to yours. I can't wait to see it. Okay, shut your eyes. Oh, yeah, they're already shut. Three, two, one. Aww. <laughs> That's really cool. It's a cat sat on a pumpkin on a I pumpkin. See them. Oh, I like the eyes. The pop of green works really well. This is very yeah. Halloween-y. Obviously got really Halloween colours and obviously a cat is like a classic oh. Halloween costume. Black but cat. the thing I like about it most is because it's got like the random pop of colour because obviously it's got like black and white and it's yeah. got green and orange. So this is mine. I love it and I'm actually very excited to use it as Halloween room decor because it's going to look really cute in my room. Mm. Yeah, it will. It's going to suit your room. We're really, really happy with how these have turned out and we hope you guys like them too. One thing we recommend is that we did spray paint these first instead of having to paint all them and doing loads of layers. So we recommend that because yeah. it's a lot easier than having to paint it by hand. Right, on that note, time to go on to round two. We have much less pumpkins now. We have two less pumpkins. It looks so much less, they were big. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. I have a losing streak. I'm gonna lose. We, I used to always win. For you, winning's a thing of the past. I'm gonna lose now. You ready? <laughs> no, I'm told of that! Yay! Wow. My choice this time, I don't wanna go for a big one, and I don't wanna go for this one. I don't wanna go for these two because they're big. And now I am left with the smaller ones. I am liking this orange one, I think it's pretty. <laughs> I picked an orange one last time, so I'm not gonna pick the orange one. I do quite like this white one. But I also like the look of these plastic ones. I think it'd be a nice challenge to paint something with sequins on. So, find it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening there? I got a frustrating because you keep picking all the ones. So, I am going to pick a smaller pumpkin and I want to pick a white one, so I'm picking this one. This one! Yay, finally one you I want. actually got the one I wanted. We have six designs left and before we pick, we're going to rock, paper, scissors and then pick again. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, oh, you won! <laughs> I get to pick. I want to do animal print. I want stripes and dots. Cool, anyway, that's perfect. We both picked the one we want. Now we're going on to round two, and I will say my design for this round is slightly less simple than the one for last round. Mine is definitely more simple. Yeah. Last round was quite, it was quite detailed, so it was really hard to do. But this round, literally so simple, but it's definitely gonna be effective. Can we start? I'm yeah. ready to start. I literally need one color, which is black. Is it stripes? It is stripes. It's okay, we're just gonna get on with this and we will see you when we're done. Yours looks good. Thank you. Right, 
we finally finished our second ones. I think yours took a bit longer. Yeah, mine took a bit longer. Yeah, I don't know why. I haven't seen yours that much. I literally saw the first part when you were doing green, green lines. Ruby didn't see from there because we put the barrier up, but it did start to look like a watermelon at that point, so it has changed. I um, think you should go first. Shut your eyes. This one, I feel like it's very similar to your ghost one from last round. Okay, I'm gonna reveal it now. And in three, two, one. Oh, cool. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> it's like, really cool, isn't it? It's very Halloween. Oh, there's small ones. It, yeah, I did like yeah, loads of different works. sizes and I basically just an animal print of a bat. It was very hard to make them all like, because it all had to be like similar. Yeah. They all had to be like the same shape. But it looks... It really works. The one thing I struggled with was the ears. They kept looking like cat ears. But they're <laughs> thinner and longer. My number one tip with this is to paint it with paint because it's obviously just like the best substance. And then after that, outline with all of the legs I do with a black Bosco pen because it's just always oh, easier it's easy to do. Work. And it would look really nice on a white pumpkin. And it would black look one as well. White. Really cool idea. I really like it. Here it is. My last one was very detailed, so I felt like I needed a break and just made something really cool. And I got animal print, so I feel like I went in a bit of a loophole, but in like a you really cool way. You did use a loophole there. Yeah, well, like animal print is still like a print it's of a an animal. Print of an animal, literally. On that note, which is a very high one, time to show you mine. You ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Wait, you know those beach balls? No! <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. Don't but... from Peppa Pig. <laughs> Because, but it's a really it, uh, the first thing I thought was oh my gosh it's so pretty colours. Thank you. I thought I like the colours. Yeah, they it's are. Got gold here as well. Originally, I put the green that was on there straight out of the box, and it looked like a watermelon. But like, it looks really good. Like, it's just like a nice stripy pattern, isn't it? So this is mine, and basically I painted lilac and light green stripes on top, and I also put gold up here. It looks like gold on the top. No, like you know the gold like chunks like just sprinkled. Yeah. Sun. Just a little bit of bizarre. Absolutely. <laughs> this pumpkin had been spray painted before, so I would recommend doing that. It definitely speeded up the process. This is going to look really nice in my room for Halloween. That was our second round pumpkins. Make sure to comment down below which ones you like the most. Rubies? <laughs> <laughs> or Rayleigh's? So that is the end of our video. We really hope you enjoyed watching us paint pumpkins instead of doing carving. We thought it was a nice alternative mm. and it's also more artsy, so we thought it was a good thing to do. If you want to see any more videos which are in the spirit of Halloween, make sure to go and check out our channel because we have got a few on there right now and we have more coming until Halloween. On that note, thank you so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. We love you. Bye.